<laughs> and there was this awful noise and I saw they were doing a big paving project up here. That's exciting. Yeah. Oh, what'd you do? I got this. I got this, yeah. Thanks, John. That's what you do when the little puppy takes your slipper. Where'd you take it? I've been chasing her around the yard trying to get this back. I had to hop across the, the driveway. I've been trying. Yeah, <laughs> it's all good. There you go. Huh? What'd you do? You took it. <laughs> well, that looks amazing. This place is gonna be quiet to sleep tonight. I'm really excited. I can just hear those frogs. Anyway, I'm just going to pull up uh, beside the shop. Apparently, I can tie into their Wi-Fi there. and it Sounds like it's going to rain here. It sounds like it is raining. Morning guys. <laughs> I get lost in my videos so easily when I'm editing. Anyway, I'm at J5 Custom Vans. He's awake. John is up. He just went for a walk with his cute little dog. And uh, we're gonna jump in here to the shop. So I'm putting the edit aside for now. And uh, yeah, we're gonna do the rear brakes on the van. Oh, I'm so excited. I love coming to these guys, you guys. They're the nicest people like ever. And they're, um, they got a really awesome shop here. So if you're ever doing any van building or stuff like that, speak to J5 Custom Vans on Vancouver Island. They're pretty good. Anyway, I, I gotta go get some of that goodness myself right now. So that's, that's what I'm up to. Maybe I should, uh, I should brew up another quick, quick cup of coffee here. Should I? Yeah, there we go, little bits and pieces, you guys. Yeah. That's part of the parking brake system. These pads are like shot. So a while ago, guys, I brought this van into a shop. I bought all the parts, I brought it in. They quoted me a brake job and I said, great, you wanna do it? And they're like, yep. Brought it in, had them do it. I was gone at a coffee place for like, I don't know, three hours, came back. And they said, your van's ready. And so I came back and the, the guy came out and he says, you don't need to change any of this stuff. It's all good. And um, they said, your brake pads, there's lots of meat left. Your rotors are good, all this stuff. 
They said, just save your money, take the parts back. You don't need to do anything in the back. And I was like, well, that's funny because another mechanic said my rear brakes were shot and they, everything needed to be replaced. And I had a look at them and I took the rotors off and I inspected this parking brake system. And uh, it was almost metal on metal, just like this. These are obviously in really rough shape at this point. And so I bought all these parts to get it all replaced and they said, no, it's, it's fine. Uh, so I left and there was this awful noise and uh, I brought it back and then they, they said, yeah, we took it for a drive. We didn't see any noise. And what it was, was there's a bunch of broken hardware. You saw a little broken spring. There was a bunch of stuff that was falling out of here and it was grinding up in the rotor. And uh, yeah, they said they took it for a drive. And then uh, I, I said, really? I said, yeah. So I had a chat with the manager and I was like, well, according to my GPS, my van didn't leave your parking lot. And these are shot and here's the video photo footage that they are. And anyway, it, it didn't go well. And uh, I left. They offered to work on it after all. And I was like, no, not anymore. Not with you guys. And so uh, anyway, getting it done now and it's gonna be good. Brand new of these and New parking brakes and maybe new hubs, I don't know. These might be fine though. I'm glad I brought it into John though. Making fast work of this. Doing John. this on the side of the road wouldn't be pleasant, yeah? It's making fast work of this. No, we ain't done yet. No, I know. Yeah, that's kind of a little bit rough, so it might be the point here. I was thinking this might be a part that I have to replace. And I didn't order it, but uh, I think that might be the case. It does turn, it's a little bit, it's a little rough in there. And so that, that'll help with gas mileage and stuff. But yeah, it's like a job. You gotta get it off here. You have to disconnect the spring hanger. Mm-hmm. We got movement. We're still in the... This is what happened with Jack Sands. Right here, different different occasions. Here's another one right here. And I suspect it's just, it's from these kind of things lifting up in the wrong places or not shimmed up enough like the way John's done it. Like this is fine, but that's just all been busted up from, a, you know, going in and out of garages. And it looks really bad back there. It's too bad. To fix this and cut it out and fix it, it's gonna be a big job. Um, the other side's looking worse, this side is, because we got a bit of rust here. There's a blister coming out right there, it's the first one, and then right here, this one's, this one's the worst spot, this is a rusty spot on the body, there's a little hole right there. So, and up in the front, it's, it's okay up there, but from here back, like I'd have to cut it out from like here probably strip it all out weld in a new piece and get this one off of some other van but this is all buggered in here too it's too bad you guys there's drain holes that were built in here this is where one of them is so these little spot welds along the end there's a little tube built in here for the drain but they're not draining properly and another weird thing about these is they're they're filled with spray foam and as far as I can tell, like the pillars up in the front, the stock pillars, they have spray foam in them. So I don't know what this is gonna look like. I'm kind of afraid to pull it apart, but I'm gonna have to pull it apart, at least replace this, this section on this side. That'll be a job for another day. Otherwise, this is a good time for me just to Check out the underside of the van.
That's it guys, I got the, the new brake pads in the caliper. That's been all service greased up on the inside, like these little pins and stuff. These are installed, the adjustment's not done yet. All I need at this point is to go get the new bearing hub. So John and I are gonna go get a bite to eat and then we're gonna go pick that up and put it all together. So far, so good. Yeah, she's rambunctious, man. I saw they were doing a big paving project up here. That's exciting. Yeah, that is exciting because that road is brutal. I know, yeah. I was like, yeah, that, that road's bad. Mm. Oh, wait a sec. Yep. What you got there, right? What'd you do? <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> well, I'm gonna go rest my eyes for like 20 minutes. So. Okay. I got this. I got this? I got this. I got this, yeah. Thanks, John. Keep going, yeah. What a day, man. John, it was really good for you to help me out like this, buddy. Thank you so much. I know this took a lot of while. It's evening now, you guys. It's like 7 p.m. Um, so John, really appreciate the use of your shop on this one. Thank you so much. And Louise, thank you too. Dinner last night was really good. Um, guys, for the van, I mean, this job, I've been wanting to do it for a long time. I've got shiny new slotted rotors down there, new pads, new parking brake system, all that stuff. I do need to still adjust the parking brakes because right now they're not working. Um, they just, they just need to be adjusted so they grab properly, but I'm going to do that later. I, I need to rescue you guys. I need to take it easy now for the rest of the day. So I'm going to say... Good night and thanks for watching. Stay tuned, there's more stuff that I gotta do on my van, but before I do, I don't know, I think I might be heading back down south to go work on Nick's van, so. Lots of van work all around, and there's news around that coming up. There might be somebody else joining the party, maybe, we'll see. Anyway guys, that's it, I'll see you next time, bye. J5 Custom Vans, you guys. If you're doing any van work at all, man, this guy is set up to do that. Anything you want, really.